These are going to be two reigning division champs battling it out. Big game for both teams, but especially for Minnesota. You cannot start the season. I said you could start the season over, but not 0-2, okay? Especially with how good the Lions and Packers looked in week one, and especially after one of the more disappointing performances that we saw on Sunday in the Vikings 20-17 to loss to the Bucks. They turned the ball over four times in that game, okay? Twice inside the Bucks 30, once deep in their own end that led to a Tampa field goal. So Vikings running backs, woof. You get rid of Cook, I get it. We're rebuilding on the fly. We're doing 34 yards on 14 carries, woof. Woof-tastic, okay? Their first game post, um, post Dalvin Cook, it was not cute, okay? It wasn't pretty, but they do have a huge opportunity here to turn it around, bright lights. They're going up against the defending champs of the NFC, and I think the Vikings' pass game does have an edge here, okay? Two starters in the Eagles secondary, James Bradbury and Reed Blankenship, they're ruled out. They're not playing. They're not suited up. They're not hanging out. And, you know, the the Cousins, Jefferson, Hawkinson, Addison, um, four-string quartet vibe that looked pretty damn good in week one, despite some of the sloppiness that we saw elsewhere that led to that loss to the hands of Baker Mayfield and company. I think the Vikings are going to show up tonight. They're going to put up some points and put a lot of pressure on the Eagles' offense to answer. And if you're thinking about the other thing here, as we're looking at, I'm looking at my YouTube chat, the Eagles' secondary has some injuries. I know, yeah, this week could be a week the Vikings get a confidence boost, and they need it. Just Joe Gomez says, woof-tastic. Yeah, I, yeah. You want to talk about Hurts and the Eagles side of things? Let's do it. Speaking of that, uh, they did enough in the rain and slop up in Foxborough to get themselves a win in week one. But they, they have a statement they want to make in front of their home crowd and maybe me also tonight, right? Jalen and co, they didn't look as sharp as we are used to them seeing on Sunday either. People like Hamilton want to blame the weather and climate change for these things. But I don't know. They scored on this beauty in the first quarter. This was nice. I was like, here we go. But it was the only offensive touchdown they scored on the entire day, okay? They went the final 47 minutes without finding the end zone. The run game struggled to get going. I said Dallas Goddard. I was looking to go three for three, and my game maker was bop, bop, bop. He didn't have a catch, okay? But despite the win, the Eagles were not satisfied, which I love to see. Listen to their offensive coordinator, who we sat with Nick Sirianni and his beautiful family talking about. It's Brian Johnson and then Jalen reflecting on the past week's game too sloppy um you know from just the standpoint of you know i think for me the, the thing that was really most frustrating is you know we had the opportunity up 16 nothing with the ball in in the minus territory three possessions in a row and and uh we couldn't get much going and i think for us we just continue to grow through that you know we, we continue to grow you know we all have standards um i have standards and they're very high I'm showing you this clip because I love it because you can't tell if they won or lost the game. They won the game. The emphasis from, you know, from the Eagles that we heard was this standard, right? The standard for this offense, regardless of the outcome. They know their ceiling. They know how much pressure is on them, what is expected of them. And they're not going to accept anything else. And that's exactly why I'm not at all worried about this Philly group. This is a focused team. That quarterback that just talked is about as focused as I've ever seen any player that's ever suited up to play this game that we love. Kind of to the point that it's a little scary. So I think we see the birds get things going uh, in a big way tonight with what they can, we know they can do offensively and the stars the Vikings have on the other side. This does have the potential to be about as fun as Thursday nights get, okay? And this, this could be it. We're kicking it off. It'll be a lot of fun, a lot of hoopla. And I think I just talked myself into being in the building for it tonight. <laughs> the link is so fun. I've never tailgated there. I've done shows there for NFL Network, like me, Mike Garofalo, Mike Robinson. We've we've kicked it in the parking lot, but very close to the stadium. I've not walked around. I've not had the full experience. What do I need to do? Where do I need to go? What does that look like uh, at Up and Adam Show? Let me know.